Ooh, fancy, rare, rare. Nintendo presents an old classic from the collection. There's Cranky Kong just cranking out some jams on the megaphone. Oh yeah. Crank that beat, Cranky. Oh crap! What the heck? Got a freaking boombox. Oh yeah. Jam it up there, Donkey Kong. Oh man. <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> Throw a freaking TNT barrel. Well, howdy guys and gals, I'm Silent Senior Zero. No! And this is Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Alright, didn't think I'd find myself doing this, but here we are. So this will be 101% completion of this game, which basically means we're going to get all the bonus exits. Uh, we will uh, probably not be getting all the Kong letters necessarily, but I'll do my best to try and collect them because they do add to our 1-ups. And uh, I will die a lot. Yeah, I, I really am not that great at this game. I'm probably one of the plain Jane players, if you will, or vanilla flavors of players. Anyway, um, this game actually offers three types of ways to play. There's single player, which is the one I will be doing, uh, where it's not necessarily just Donk Kong. You play as Donk Kong and Diddy Kong as one player. There's two player contest, where basically you have two players that can play against each other, where I think you kind of rotate between who plays what level next. Uh, two player team is you both play at the same time to complete each level. So, you know, there's multiple ways to play. I may try to actually do some of these actually with some co-op. I have somebody I can probably do that with, but we'll see if um, that pans out. Time will tell. For now, random cat meow, uh, let's go and get started. Alright, so I'm starting off in Congo Jungle, the first world. Yeah, Sonic Kong games seem to love starting off in jungles. And what better way to do it than in jungle hijinks. Man, I think they've used this name I don't know how many times in each level. Oh man, we just get thrust right in. No story, nothing. You just you get the opening cutscene and you just dive in. So anyway, the story goes like this. Underneath Donkey Kong's house. Oh no! Kong's been in a horde. All the bananas were stolen by the Kremlins. And right now our goal is to, well, get them back. For now, if you want to jump up here to DK's house, there's actually a banana, or a banana, yeah balloon up here. Balloons are actually your lives, your one-ups in this game. The bananas below that you're collecting, there's a lot of them. Um, you can collect the single ones individually or bunches of bananas, which I think you have like five or ten. And um, basically the idea is, in this game, huh, a nice little barrel there. Lovely. I don't think I can, well maybe I can use this. I don't know, let's see. Throw this up here. There you go, grab this. Actually, I want to go along the treetops because there's some good stuff up there. Um, little footnote there, uh, you saw I collected a letter. There are four letters in each world that spell out the letter Kong, or spell out the word Kong. Every time you collect all four of the letters, you will get a one-up at the end. Well, after you collect the fourth lever, letter, I should say, lever, jeez, it's like I'm freaking pushing switches. Can I please make this jump? This is really not that hard, dude. It's a matter of using the- oh, I gotta roll jump, ugh. I was gonna say, it's a matter of using the momentum, but you also gotta roll jump correctly, jeez. There you go. Good lord. Yep, alright, another one. And then roll jump again. There's none up here. Roll jump again. I screwed that up, that's okay. That was a two up there, the green balloons are two. I don't know if I want to call them two up, one up, or just call them DK ups. Because, I mean, it covers both Diddy and Donkey Kong. Ooh, bunch of banana. Hey, alright, answer my question. It's ten bananas every time you collect those. Very nice. Thankfully, we won't have to collect a hundred of them with every single Kong in each world. Because, holy crap, that would take too long. I mean, it'd be fun. That's a game I do want to do sometime. But, holy man, I don't know. <laughs> fun fact, I was actually wanting to... I was contemplating doing that game. <clears throat> Donkey Kong 64. But I was like, uh... Nah, that's, I'm good. I'm good for now. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just do a little short game, make it easy. Alright, so right here is Rambi the Rhino! Yeah! As you can see, he just runs into enemies and runs them over. He'd also be used to smash through hidden bonus walls. Speaking of which, that's what pretty much will dictate the 101 or the percentage completion in the game. 
is by getting into the bonus areas. Now, a lot of times it's smashing through walls, like this world. Also, here we go. Yeah, alright. Um, for doing this, I think I want to go down here, actually. Yep, there's a second one. Yeah, there's two in Jungle Hijinks. <clears throat> uh, we'll get into how we know exactly how many you need to complete each one. Alright, so this is a little roulette. Let's see here, after Winky. Okay. There you go, okay. Um, every time you collect three of these golden, like, tokens of the partners you have in this game, you'll actually get transported into a bonus area. And then from there... Oh, nice, there's a little barrel there if you need it. Um, you'll have the chance to basically grind and get some lives, extra lives. And anyway, more on that later if it happens. Uh, as you can see, pretty much the idea is you gotta reach the exit of each level. And... Pretty much you know you've completed the level if you have an explanation point at the end of the level itself. That means you found all the bonuses, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to collect all the Kong letters. That's just if you want to get an extra life. Alright, let's move from a nice sunny area to a rainy area. Ooh. That doofus out of here. Oh, I didn't even mention that. Okay. So, a little footnote about Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. As you saw, I was using Diddy Kong in the last level to jump through the treetops really easily. Uh, that is because he's a better jumper and is just faster at doing that. I'm thinking I want to just use this to get rid of this guy. There's really no other point or purpose to it. Because both the bonuses in this game are not walls. They're actually just hidden barrels you gotta find, which are... I think one of them's like a real beast to find. It's not yet. Um, anyway, as I was saying, Diddy Kong jumps fast or jumps faster. Jumps higher than Donkey Kong and he also moves a little faster. Donkey Kong, however, is more powerful, so most of the enemies in this game, he can actually clobber. So, like, say, like, right up here on this vine, if you try to jump up here with Donkey Kong, well, actually, I guess you can't get that. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Um, what I was gonna say is, you couldn't reach that height with Donkey Kong, but in this case, I guess you can. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so. Got the letter here. Um, this is actually a really nasty bit here, or, or not here, not getting this Kremlin, but right here, if you fall down. Yeah, there's a barrel down there. Sometimes they'll do that. They'll stick really tough to see bonuses. You just kind of have to keep falling in every pit until you find it. And mind you, nowadays it's like, okay, well, it's not a big deal. I'll just look up a guide. I mean, hello, Silent Senior. Wikipedia, Gamepedia, hello. And there's YouTube videos galore, man. There's a freaking vi video that includes all the bonus areas. Like, Jesus, man. True, but you gotta think, this is back in 1994 when the internet wasn't quite as, like, prominent, you know, we didn't have all this stuff out. Also, there's the inn. So this is back in the day when you had to literally find all this shiz night out yourself. Holy crap, we flew. Okay, well, I'll take that. <laughs> I wanna say we gotta push this to the right because this will get us up here, and then we just boink. Collect the winky token there. And then just progress onward. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. We gotta swing through. Alright, so those there, I think they're called zingers, but future self can feel free to correct me on that. Yeah, you can't actually touch the bees or the zingers. Um, no, uh, asterisk. You can't touch them by jumping on them. Now, you can destroy them. They're not indestructible. It's just they're really tough to do. So, okay, well, I'm taking a hit there. Good job, me. GG. Alright, so we're at the end here, and then before you finish, right where this arrow is, there's a little barrel right there. And that's our second bonus for this area. Oh, lovely. Okay, so this is a little find out which one it is. So it's gonna shuffle around the prize in this one. Oh, eyes. My eyes. I wanna say that's left, but it might be right. Okay, it's left. Cool. Yay! <laughs> like how he tosses his hat up and winks at you. Like, hey! Oh yeah, look what I did. Alright, and I think that pretty much... We're about finished with this level. So you gotta get rid of this Kremlin, and I think there's one other enemy up here. We might be able to... Actually, I think I can use Diddy Kong to get this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, get the Kong ladder and then get the heck out of here. I think I still got the or got the one up, but maybe I didn't. Alright, so in each world... Because we're in, like... Kind of like, I think, Mario Logic or Banjo-Kazooie Logic, where there's worlds and there's levels in the worlds. You're doing pretty good to get this far. Three lives and three continues. That's all we had back in my day. 
Games never looked like this when I was a lad. He whacks me with a stick. And we were much better off in those days as well. Bet you thought this was 64 bit, eh, boy? <laughs> I've got more gameplay in my little finger than you've got in this whole game. You know what they say, all graphics and no gameplay. Jeez, must the taunting continue? The crafty crocopus corners, his croc of collectibles, and coral capers. Hold the run button down and jump on baddies to gain extra spring to your leaps. Well, that's about the size of it. Whack, whack, whack. Jeez. So the whole point of listening to Cranky Kong is he has random bits of, like, tips he's going to tell you of how to, like, complete each other or hurt or find hidden bonuses. And sometimes just how to get extra lives if you're finding yourself getting your butt kicked a lot, really. <laughs> Hiccup burp. Ew, gross. Also love the little snake down there. And let's go get Donkey Kong. Yeah, I didn't even mention that. These little DK barrels that are shaking around, that's how you get Donkey Kong slash Diddy Kong to come back. Also, go ahead and get rid of these critters. Or Kremlins. Uh, feed yourself. How many? Thank you, do appreciate it. Uh, take this barrel all the way to the right. Make sure you don't hit it with the Kremlins, or the enemies. Get ourselves some bananas. Jump up here to get a uh, balloon. I almost said banana balloon, but you know, same difference, I suppose. I mean, every 100 bananas gives you uh, an extra DK, so, you know, not so bad. Uh, yeah, go ahead and throw this up, and then there's a hidden barrel up here. That'll be bonus number two. Oh, oh good lord. Good lord, man. I think I'm not in those barrels. It's like freaking Link getting shot out of a barrel in Wind Waker. Except that's even worse. You're getting spun around and shot in all directions. Like, ugh. I mean, my stomach churn, man. I just had some coffee. That's not a good time. You do not want to make silence in your stomach churn like that when you just had some coffee, you know? That's a good way to make him just crap his pants. And I'm not talking like solid either. I'm talking like, oh, some runs, man. Like Taco Tuesday runs. Ugh. Anyway, stop being such a grody, man. It's the first freaking episode. Why do you guys talk about... Or why do you have to talk about poop in the first part, man? Jeez. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be me if that, that crap wasn't happening. Oh, got him. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, we gotta go up here. I do actually have a little guide in case y'all are wondering, but I'm not looking at it right now. I just kind of have it down packed with these first few levels. And after that, I'm like, I'm lost. <laughs> Alright, oh, um, footnote. Whenever it comes to getting bonus areas that involve using a barrel, you usually want to grab Diddy Kong to do it because he carries it in front of him, which makes it a lot easier to bust open the bonus area versus Donkey Kong he's a little tougher to control because he holds it above his head so you have to launch the barrel and if you don't launch it correctly well <laughs> you end up screwing up the bonus area now I suppose I should probably mention this I mean I don't know if it goes without saying all you have to do to get the hundred percentage or hundred one percentage is open the bonus area you don't have to succeed you don't have to get a goodie for it whoa okay I'm betting if I, like, bounce off their heads, I could probably, like, slam down a bunch of bananas here. Let me see. Nope. Okay, just that one. That's cool. Alright, I think that's... Yeah, that's all of them, because there's three bonus areas in this area, so we're done. Donified. Got all the Kong letters. There's another life. I cannot promise I'm going to get all the Kong letters. I will try. But dang, that's going to be tough. Because some of them, I don't even know where some of the freaking letters are. And some of them, <clears throat> I do know where they are, but they're ridiculously hard. Also, yay! <sighs> Just, I gotta be quiet and let y'all listen to this. the aquatic ambience music it's so freaking good it's relaxing and just mmm so crisp and clear and what's his name smooth in the groove does a really amazing acapella of this like seriously all right so underwater levels one thing you that should be noted about them is there are no bonus areas you have to unlock them so that 
already makes me a very happy camper. Like, I, that's another re that's one reason why I love these levels. The other reason I love them is because they're super relaxing. Now, I won't say they're always easy. No, they're <laughs> there's a couple of them I know that are going to really run me through the ringer, if you will. Also, I do see... I don't see bananas pointing down. Uh huh. -huh. Yes, on guard. All right, so with on guard, he's like Rambi. He pretty much destroys most of the enemies, if not all of them. All right, so let's see if I can get this banana balloon or banana balloon. I don't want to call those banana balloons. They're not. They're not even colored like a banana. They're red. Ooh. But yeah, with on guard, if you like tap it, he'll actually like run through most of the enemies in this game. They're in the underwater sections. The croctopus creatures you can't actually, like, knock out, honestly. Let's see, I think there's a goodie down here, maybe? Question mark? Oh, it's just another on guard if you need it. Okay. Well, before I do that, I think that actually is the way forward, so rather than do that, let's, uh, knock this chomp. I think it's, I think that's what he's called. He's probably called Chomp Jr., though, honestly. Because there's a shark and there's, like, a bigger shark, and it's like, ugh. Man, I'd hate to be a monkey underwater. Yeah, I don't think they ever addressed that as to how he's able, how Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are able to swim, but I... You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I'm just like, it works. They make the animation so beautiful, it works. Also, that's a bigger shark. Ooh. Oh. Yummy. Oh, crap. Okay, well, guess we're getting a bonus. Alright, so this is Espresso. I don't think we're going to see one see this guy until much later. Or maybe sooner than I think. Alright, so anyway, bonus series. This is the way they work. You collect these little token things, and basically every hundred of these, you wind up getting a one-up, or balloon, if you will. So, in Expresso's level, and Rambi the Rhino's level, as well as Winky's level, there's something to be noted about it. There's the individual tokens themselves, which you're going to want to collect as many of these as you can, before you go after something that's going to really rock your world. Um, and each of these levels, excluding the on guard level, I don't think there's one in that one. If you go through over here and grab the big token, it doubles the amount of tokens you have. So, as you can see right there, now I'm at 692. Oh, come on, let me get it! Dang it! I was trying to get at least 700. Man, look at all those lives, jeez. I mean, I'll take them, I freaking, I'll need them, especially for later levels. Like, dude, the freaking snow level? Oh, that is gonna kick my butt. Seriously. Alright, well, anyway, enough of that crap. Let's go ahead and go back through here. Eh, <clears throat> get out of here. Stupid shark. Actually, you're probably a very intelligent being, and I'm just being a rude individual way, sorting you in the face. And you know what? I don't give a flying monkey! Actually, I don't think monkeys can fly. But can they? I don't think there is a monkey that can fly. There probably is one that's called the Flying Monkey, but I don't... Oh, duh. Wizard of Oz. Hello. Jeez, took me a whole freaking minute just to figure that out. These piranhas out of here. There's actually probably another name for these. Thanks, future self. I appreciate it. Oh, there's a clam. Alright, so clams, they spit out these little pebbles, that you, or these little pearls you can't hit. And as you can see, the croctopus here will just do a little path there. Hey, all right, got the Kong. And with that, we're done. Probably could have breezed through that a lot faster, but oh well. All right, so with that done, you get oh another one, another thing called Funky's Flights. Whoa, dudes! My name's Funky Kong. My bodacious jumbo barrel can launch you to any point in the island. Most unfortunately, it can only send you to a place you've already been to, man. This is a complete and total bummer, let me tell you. And then he just says the same thing over and over. So there's no point in this, but there is one point I like. Alright, so let's try that again. I want to get to that part that I really like, it's really cool. Ah, <laughs> yes! Are ya? Like a freaking battle cry, man. We'll get into more on what his funky Kong barrel can do, but for now, let's go ahead and do this last level here Barrel Cannon Canyon. Alright, so this one's gonna be kind of fun. Because this level, 
It can be really lengthy, but it can also be one where you just blast through most of it, honestly. Let's see if I can't get up here. I feel like you can. Yeah, there you go. Get the K, and then just bust across the treetops here, man. Look at this. Look at that. Holy crap. Man, where the heck are we even at? Jeez. Okay, do not be fooled. I don't believe there is something you can jump into. Let me see here. Blasting through most level. You would put burp, 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 burp. I want to say you have to jump to the left a little bit, so let's see if I can do that. Uh, there it is. Oh, no, it's not this. Ah, well, actually, this isn't bad. Okay. Yeah, if you had jumped straight down, you would have just, like, fallen to your death. Which I've done many times, forgetting that, how you do this level. Oh, man, I missed a little... Well, I could probably use Diddy Kong to get that, but whatever. I'm not worried about that. Right now, what I want to do is you have to kind of time these a little bit, but they're not too bad. I will say, though, I love the music. Okay, so a bit of a trick move here. You actually have to blast the wall, and that's your first bonus. So, whoop. we're going to time this. Boom. 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 Yeah, and yum. Oh, and there I am above it. Jeez. All right, so that's the first bonus done. Plop out of here, get the checkpoint. I want to say it's probably to the left, question mark, but I probably could be wrong. Oh, oh, well, poop on that, man. I want to, oh, wait, no, I've already done that. Okay, yeah, so that was the first bonus down there. So we'll finish that up, go up here, and then I think the second bonus is actually gonna. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember this. We got to take the DK barrel here and like go to a different like section. Let me see here. What does it say? I gotta do. After bonus, head right. An area with critters. TNT. Oh, it's the TNT barrel. Okay, so it's not even this. Well, screw that noise. Then we'll just clear this out. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I gotta get rid of these guys because these guys are gonna be a pain in my butt. Oop. There we go. Okay, don't fall down there. Uh, use Diddy Kong. Grab this TND barrel here. And then it's not any of these. I want to say you have to go left and then to the right. Yep, there it is. There's a little monster. And I think if you want to get whatever's in here, it's probably to the right. Let's see. Huh? Nope, it's right in the middle. Dang it. Like, the, like as far as the best item, it's the, the balloons. Because the others are just like a means to an end for the balloons, you know. It's like, well, dang it, man. Ugh. Alright, hook. Cool. Take that, and then we'll just go ahead and just bounce off this guy, continue forward here. If I wasn't hesitating, I could actually blast through this level a lot faster, but unfortunately I'm very much a person who hesitates, and well, he who hesitates is lost, as it's said before. Although I'm more of a cautious Kathy, if you will, when it comes to this stuff. There we go, okay. Yeah, as you see, they're starting to get a little more tricky with their timing they want us to do here! Crap. Well, first death. Thankfully. Oh, goodness. We start off with the last checkpoint. Now, you don't have to go and get the bonus levels again, thankfully, so we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to go ahead and finish up here. Keep going. True story, when I went through this doing my practice run, I thought you had to keep getting the bonus areas over and over again just to complete the 100%. Oh man, I was livid when I found out. I was like, are you serious? Like, I lost how many times I had to redo some of these levels, man. These freaking levels were kicking my butt. Also, if you, already co if you have already collected a, le a letter in the level that, you know, you haven't finished yet, you actually don't, um, if, let's say you're going for a Kong run or whatever, you actually don't need to collect that letter again. It's going to actually save that for you, even if you don't have a checkpoint you've hit. Okay, we need to stop sucking the big one, man. That's just, that's, ugh. Doesn't matter if that's your thing. You know, you don't need to be sucking in games like this, man. Seriously. Ooh. All right. There we go. Okay. That should about finish us up here. We got this thing down here we got to hit, though. Oof. Oh, these zingers, man. And I don't mean the mountain melt zingers, I mean these, these zingers doozy, these doozy of, like, challenges. Oh, there's a G. Homie G! Yeah, alright. I like little butterflies in the background there. Alright, so that's Barrel Canyon Canyon. 
Alright, in each of the worlds, there's also one other character known as Candy Kong. Hi, I'm Candy Kong, and this is my save point. Blows kiss. If you want to save your current game, jump into my spin and save barrel. And then she just keeps repeating the same thing, so we wouldn't jump in. Oh. There we go, and as you can see, we have 14% completed in 18 minutes. Yeah, it is just crap. Alright, and then one last thing in each world, there is a boss. First things first, we gotta deal with Very Naughty's Lair. Well, you guys can read. Jeez, dude. Alright, so the first boss not too bad. He just bounce off his head. And just deal with his time, his awkward time jumps. He gets a little, like, faster and jumps a little farther each time. And makes it to where it's a little harder to, like, avoid his jumping here, but... Nothing we can't handle. He's like we gave him a black eye. But really, he's just closing one eye. Well, hooray! We've completed the level. And with that, that's the first one down. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. Love bunches. Please let us just slap. And I will see you next time when we do Monkey Mines. Take care, y'all.